Hey guys, welcome back to Mama Duvet. I'm Shelby and I make videos all about motherhood. I am also currently 16 weeks pregnant and I'm also the mom of a two-year-old who is napping. Not napping. <laughs> He's in bed right now, not sleeping. If you've been following my channel for the past few weeks, you know we took his pacifier away and nap time has just kind of been hit or miss since then. But regardless, mom gets a little bit of quiet time and Lucas hangs out in his bed. So <sighs> I'm slightly out of breath. This is just pregnancy. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you things that really helped me get through my first trimester. Like I said, I'm 16 weeks pregnant and it's still kind of fresh in my mind. So I thought now would be the best time to share all of that with you. And a couple of disclaimers for you. I am going to talk about some supplements and I just wanna to say to please speak with your doctor before you take any of these supplements. These are just the things that over time and speaking with my doctor, what I have found works for me and that I feel like my body needs and my doctor agrees with me. So don't take any of these things unless you speak with your doctor or your midwife, whoever is helping you with your prenatal care. But I did want to share some with you because I do feel like they truly helped me get through my first trimester and probably some of them will continue. I also thought I should go ahead and disclose that I am now an Amazon affiliate. So some of these products are products that you can find on Amazon and I have links to everything down below in the description box. So I get a small percentage if you do purchase something through one of my links. It's not a lot, but hey, help a girl out because I am a stay-at-home mom and I'm not making any money through YouTube videos at this point. So I just thought I would let you know that before we continue. And finally, please make sure that you do like this video if you enjoy the content that I share with you today and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because I'm probably gonna continue talking about pregnancy for a while. And if you are also pregnant at the moment, maybe some of my videos you'll be able to relate to or they can be helpful to you. So also you can share this video with a friend who might be pregnant as well and maybe it can help them too. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I did wanna say that this is my second pregnancy and this time around, I have to say my symptoms have not been as severe as they were with my first pregnancy. There were some weeks that it was actually kind of weird. I didn't feel like I was pregnant at all. So just keep that in mind, but I still have been pregnant twice and have gone through my first trimester two times. So it's possible that some of these products help me get through it or some of these things that I did help me get through it. The first thing I wanna mention is if you are experiencing nausea, please make sure that you talk to your doctor about this but I highly recommend the combination of B6 and Unisom. This has been such a game changer for me. Around seven weeks, I started getting pretty nauseous. I do have a video all about my symptoms and everything I went through up my first trimester, so I'll link that one up here. But when I spoke to my doctor about this and she agreed that this is something I could take, it changed everything. I only ended up taking the dosage at nighttime and it helped me throughout the day. I had no nausea the entire time I was on this. This bottle is 100 milligrams of B6 and from the research that I did and after speaking to my doctor, they recommend 50 milligrams because I believe your max in a day is supposed to be 100 milligrams. So I would take this and I would cut it in half and only take half of one of these as well as one half of one of the Unisom tablets at night. It made a difference through the entire night and the whole next day. So all my nausea was gone. Unisom and B6, that combination, talk to your practitioner, your doctor about how much to take and when to take it, but a great combination. And seriously, the feeling of nausea when you have a toddler is just so aggravating. It's just, 
it just makes things really miserable whether you're throwing up or not throwing up it's just not fun to feel nauseous all day so made a huge difference in my first trimester and while we're on the topic of supplements i wanted to go ahead and mention my prenatal vitamin but this is the prenatal that i've been taking and the reason why i chose this one is because it has folate instead of folic acid um, the research that I've done in the past, I'm not a scientist, so I don't really know that much about it, but they do recommend folate over folic acid if you can get that, as well as iron is important for me. I do, I've never actually been told that I have low iron, but I believe it's because I kind of make sure that I'm getting enough. And I also liked the fact that I had a little bit of magnesium and a little bit of calcium in this one as well. Also, if you notice that I'm sitting on a quilt, it's because we have a very soft bed and I just kind of sink into it and that makes it pretty uncomfortable to sit on the bed to film. Okay, and gonna continue with those supplements. Also, again, because I'm gonna say it a million times, make sure you talk to your doctor about this stuff. But I've been taking calcium. I personally only take this every other day, but I've been taking it because I noticed in my first trimester, that my nails were getting very, very bumpy across the top. And I already have not the best uh, dental stuff going on. So I just wanted to make sure that this baby wasn't gonna suck all the calcium out of my food and out of my body and just leave me with nothing. So anyway, I take one of these every other day and I do believe that helps, but this one is even better. So this is magnesium and it's 400 milligrams. Magnesium helps with so many things. So when you're pregnant, a lot of times you deal with constipation, you deal with headaches, and you deal with leg cramps, and magnesium is the thing that will help you with all of it. So I have dealt with migraines in the past, and my first time pregnant, I also was dealing with headaches a lot then as well. And that's when I really started taking this and I haven't really quit. So magnesium has kind of been part of something that I take all the time, but I know it helps when I'm pregnant because if I do miss it, that's when I start to get those leg cramps. You know the Charlie horses that can wake you up in the middle of the night because they're in your calf or in the back of your thigh even, or sometimes in your foot? Magnesium is something that will help you with all of it. And with that magnesium, you also wanna make sure that you're drinking plenty of water and if you're not really good at drinking water, like if it's not something that you remember to do all the time, I highly recommend getting a water bottle that is pretty large and that you really enjoy drinking out of. This is my water bottle and it I, I'm sure you've probably actually seen me carrying this thing around in my vlogs and in other videos, but I love this water bottle because it has a straw, but you also have the option of it just being a chug lid. So you can just take the straw out and just drink out of it without a straw. But it also is spill proof. I love that it's stainless steel because it keeps my water nice and cold and it even has a strap on the lid. So when you have your hands full of stuff, your, your giant water bottle isn't going to take up a lot of space. So I can just hang it on a finger, although it is really heavy when it's full. So if you have trouble drinking water, I recommend finding a water bottle that you love. I do have this one linked down below in the description box if this is something that seems like you would enjoy. Also, if you are also familiar with my vlogs, you also know that I really enjoy body armor. And if you like sweeter drinks or just flavored drinks in general, body armor is one of my favorite ones. It's got a lot of antioxidants and B vitamins in it. So and it's got a lot of electrolytes and potassium as well. So those things also help with those leg cramps and everything. I love this stuff. And right now, this is actually my favorite flavor. It's the orange clementine. I was really enjoying the tropical coconut flavor. This one is my new current favorite. So I have some of these linked below as well, but you can find them in grocery stores, gas stations, all kinds of different places. So the next thing on my list is to invest in a wire-free bra <laughs> because this is my second pregnancy and I have a two-year-old. Honestly, I never went back to wired bras. So when I'm not actually breastfeeding, I really like the brand Shaper Mint. That's the one that I'm currently wearing right now and it still kind of fits, but because the girls grow so much in your first trimester and beyond, 
Um, if you end up needing a new bra, if you're planning on breastfeeding, I do recommend going ahead and getting a nursing bra. I did buy this little three pack on Amazon when I was pregnant with Lucas and I wore them for probably a year and a half after I had Lucas. So I got about two years of use out of these three bras and I love them. They clip on the side like they should and they're really comfortable. So I promise you, you might think, oh, I'm never switching to wire-free comfortable bras, but you will thank me for this. <laughs> Please go buy yourself some wire-free bras. You'll be so much more comfortable. <laughs> and then if you're not going to be breastfeeding and you just know that's just not for you, the brand Shapermint has great bras that are durable, they last, and they're really comfortable. So I am 16 weeks pregnant. I've probably gained, I think I've gained 12 pounds at this point, and this bra is still super comfortable. Anyway, get yourself a wireless bra. <laughs> and now I wanted to talk a little bit about food and things that helped me get through my first trimester in that category. So before I got pregnant, I was really obsessed with coffee and I would find myself drinking like three cups of coffee a day. And I knew the chance of pregnancy was possible although I really didn't believe that it was gonna happen as quickly as it did, but I went ahead and made the switch to half caffeinated coffee. So we just get Maxwell House half ca caffeinated coffee, and I don't feel like I have to pay that much attention to how much coffee I'm drinking. I'll also go ahead and tell you I haven't really been into coffee as much as I usually am since I got pregnant, but it's still something I do enjoy, especially when it's cold outside. Like right now, actually, it's the coldest day of the year. So it's been in the 20s all morning and I'm in Georgia. So we're not used to that kind of weather. Another thing food-wise that has really helped me is actually protein pancakes. I've made protein pancakes for a long time, but for some reason in my first trimester, eggs have just not sounded very good and I know it's important to get that protein in the morning so instead of just having like a piece of bread or something like that I've been making protein pancakes because I know I'm getting some protein along with the carbs that I'm also eating so protein pancakes we really like this brand the Kodiak cake brand is also really good but we prefer this one so see what you can do to make some changes so that you make sure that you're getting the right type of nutrition for what's going on and what your food aversions are. Another way that I've been doing that is I've actually been into smoothies lately. So we have this wonderful magic bullet that we use and instead of using protein powder, I've honestly just been using Greek yogurt. So I'll just put about half a cup, maybe more depending on the day, of Greek yogurt in there and then I'll add either banana or some berries, maybe some spinach, maybe some peanut butter, just depending on what type of smoothie I'm making. And that's really been helping me on days that food just doesn't sound very good. So get yourself a little smoothie maker, a little magic bullet that can help you if you're having trouble in the morning on deciding what to eat because things just don't sound as good as they used to. And the last food recommendation that I have for you is to make soup. So you can either make soup or you can buy soup. But for me, soup sounded really good. On the days that I did feel a little bit nauseous or whatever, soup just really was warming and comforting and brothy. So it just really hit the spot for me. So I recommend um, go to Chick-fil-A, get some of their soup. Go to Panera Bread, get some soup from them, um, wherever, or make yourself some soup. If you look back at my channel, I am sure I have plenty of soup recipes that you can look at if you need a little bit of help. But just put a little chicken, some chicken broth, some vegetables, and maybe some rice or some noodles in there, and you've got yourself some good savory soup. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about some things that I did in my first trimester that really helped me survive it. You know, you're really exhausted in your first trimester. It's just this type of exhaustion like no other. And I have a two-year-old, so that's extra hard. You know, I've got to ch chase around a toddler, make sure he gets activity and all of that. So I just wanted to say to you guys to let some things go. Rest when you can. If your toddler still takes a nap, 
take a nap when they do. It's okay if your house isn't in as tip-top shape as it usually is. It's okay if you don't get those things done that are on your to-do list. Take a little bit of time to just rest and, and go to bed early. I know that you want me time and you want time alone, but just rest as much as you can. And yes, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I get to do those things. If you work, still try to find a way to get a little bit of extra rest in your day. Take a break, go to bed early. Don't do all of the extra things that you normally do. I also highly recommend getting outside as much as possible. I know it's winter time right now, so that might be difficult for you, but I do recommend getting outside and just letting your skin soak up the sun a little bit. It just seems to energize me when I get a chance to go outside. So at this point in time, it's so cold out, I really despise being cold. So it really takes a lot for me to convince myself to go out with my son when it's this cold, but I know it's good for him and it's good for me. And I always feel a little bit better when I do it. And since you're going to be taking a little bit of extra time to rest and everything, now is a great time to make a registry. You can go onto the Target website or Amazon I'm registered on Amazon right now and make a baby registry. I know your mind is probably going off with all of the things that you're gonna need for this baby if you're a first time parent. And even if you already have children, you're going to be thinking about all those things that you need. So you might as well go ahead and start creating a registry so that you can go ahead and get all of those ideas in one place. It's really easy to do. Just get online and start trying to figure out how to do it. It's super easy and it'll make you feel good. And I know for a lot of people, the first trimester totally drags on. So for me, I wanna know everything right away. I wanna know the gender of my baby. I wanna know all the things that I need. I wanna know how I'm gonna set up the baby's room. I just wanna be prepared. So it's really hard for me to just sit back and let nothing happen. So when we decided that we weren't going to do the NIPT test, that is one of the things that the doctors recommend for you to do to get the genetic testing and everything. When I knew that we weren't gonna do that and find out the gender through it, I really wanted, I really wanted to go ahead and do the sneak peek test and we did it. So as far as we know, we actually do already know the gender of our baby and we did it through sneak peek. So I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. I do believe I bought mine on Amazon. It's a really simple process. It doesn't hurt that bad to collect your own blood. I know that might be something you're not willing to do, but if you really want to know the gender of your baby, I believe this kit you can test as early as seven weeks. I don't know if it's more accurate if you wait a little bit or not, but it looks for male DNA in your blood. So I think we did our test at about 11 weeks and we found out the gender within a week. So I'm so glad we did it because I've just been able to continue to think about all the things that we needed to get or didn't need to get and I feel that much more prepared and I'm only 16 weeks along. In fact, we already have the baby's room painted and we did board and batten on the wall and oh, I cannot wait to reveal the nursery to you guys. But that will come after we confirm the gender at our anatomy scan, just to make sure that this sneak peek test is right because I believe it's like 99% accurate. There's always a chance that it could be wrong. So those are all the things that I recommend to help you get through the first trimester. If you've already been through your first trimester and I didn't mention something that really helped you, please leave it down below in the comments. Also, please let me know if there's anything that I mentioned that you are going to try out. I would love to know if I helped you and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video because those things will help me to grow on YouTube and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.